Yo, what's up guys? Jimmy Edward Films here. Um, a lot of you wanted me to do tutorials on how I did my uh, visual facts breakdowns and stuff, or just my tutorials. So yeah, let's just start with the new project file. Go ahead and I'm going to be working with Apex Legend models today, since that's what I mainly work on. So there's a whole bunch of tutorials on how to import and export models from Apex. So if you want to go ahead and check those out first and then come back, um, by all means. So let's go ahead and import uh, a legend. I like working with Wraith. Um, just scale her down a little bit. Let's go ahead and give her a animation. So the one that I do like is called Blue Steel. Of course you can do any, um, but just for the tutorial purposes, do that. So we got her animated. You're gonna go ahead and hit A on your keyboard. Whoops, so we're gonna go and switch it back to object mode. So everything is selected, press A, of course. And you're going to want to export this as a FBX. It's important. FBX is ideal. So what we're going to do is you these uh, operator presets or these settings are very important for Embergen to read your, your model. So we're going to go ahead and I already have an updated uh, export preset that was updated last month of 2023. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video, this is all my export settings. Make sure everything is the same. Let me go ahead and drop down everything. If you want to go ahead and pause the video just to make sure everything is the same as mine, go ahead. So let's just give it a name, random name, and we export. Okay, once it's done exporting, we're going to go ahead and open up Embergen. And let's just start with a new project file. So this is what our base, our base like Embergen project file starts, up, starts as. So we're going to go ahead and delete this primitive. That is what's causing the emitter. Um, yeah, so go ahead and delete that and drag the volume emitter shape out and it's going to give you all these drop downs and go ahead and hit import import does what basically it says import nodes. Um, we're going to go ahead and find where we exported our model. So wherever you export it, I exported mine to my desktop. Go ahead and click open. Just give a little bit of time to process and you know, like read everything. Cool. Boom. How about it? This is our real time smoke and fire simulations in Embergen that you can go crazy with. So this is her without it. And this is her with it. And my next part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, uh, let's say you only want her helmet to emit or her jetpack or whatever her hands you know something cool so make sure to stay tuned um if there's anything else you guys would like to see let me know i read everything so yeah this is all i have for part one stay tuned for part two and i'll catch you guys later peace